Hi, this is Sandra. I'm here again with another recipe, and this recipe is a simple meatloaf. Very tasty, very seasoned, has a very good flavor, and hey, it's not what you regularly have on a meatloaf. This is a meatloaf that has a lot of zest to it, and I think you're going to enjoy it. It's going to be a individual meatloaf, like two people can eat, maybe three. So what we're going to need, we're going to need ketchup, brown sugar, we're going to have some bouillon cubes already chopped up like that with a hammer. We're going to need garlic, you're going to need onion. Now you can use regular onion, make sure it's minced. But we're not putting regular minced onion, we're going to use onion powder. And we're not going to use a bell pepper, so that's the difference. We're going to use a lot of pasta flakes dry, breadcrumbs. Worcestershire sauce, we're going to use thyme, apple cider vinegar, black pepper, more ketchup, and eggs. And of course we're going to need some meatloaf. I mean, of course we're going to need some ground meat for the meatloaf. So we're going to be right back and show you what we're going to start on first. Alright, what we're doing now is adding apple cider vinegar and brown sugar together. And this is going to make our glaze. Apple cider vinegar, apple cider vinegar, brown sugar, and ketchup. This is going to make our uh, sauce. You want to kind of run it like that. You want it to run down just like that. And it's like a sauce. And you can put some more apple cider vinegar if you want it. But I think this is perfect, just like this. I will have a recipe on soulfoodqueen.net when you get ready to do this recipe. But what we're doing now is mixing the apple cider vinegar and the brown sugar and the ketchup together to make that glaze okay okay what we have now is the pinko breadcrumbs and we have the onion powder in here so we're going to blend this together and be right back put enough onion powder in so you can smell it when you smell it as you stir it you have plenty so we're going to do now is stir this up and we're going to add the ground meat all right, we add the ground meat and we add the two eggs because the eggs were small. So what we're going to do now is add some thyme. They call it thyme. Thyme, but I call it thyme. They call it thyme and I call it thyme. So you're going to add some thyme. You can add some black pepper. I love black pepper, y'all. You add parsley flakes, a lot of parsley flakes. You're going to add the Crushed bouillon cubes. That's beef, y'all. And we're going to add the garlic. Garlic like that. This is a great meatloaf, y'all. Y'all going to enjoy this meatloaf. Got to add the garlic. And we're going to add the Worcestershire sauce. Just like that. And we're going to add some more ketchup. And we're going to squish this together. And I don't want y'all to see me squishing, so we're going to add the ketchup in it, just like that. And that's it. And we're going to squish this together and make a loaf. Okay, as we squish it up like this, I turn it like that and make sure it's all blended. You want to make sure all the corn, I mean, not the cornmeal, y'all, excuse me. I'm country, excuse me, but I love it. We have to add, make sure the bread crumbs is all blended in with the meat. And then my little secret, I like to add a little water to it. It makes it more moist to me. And we get this all blended in. And we're going to shape it and put it in the pan. Alright, I got it formed and put it in a little broken pan. Like I said, it's going to be just an individual, maybe just two. And you make sandwiches and make that meatloaf with the mashed potatoes. So we're going to put this in the oven until it get done. And we'll be right back and let's see what the end results are. All right, as the meatloaf start farming at the top with the uh, crust, we're going to start putting some sauce on top of it while it's continuing on baking. It's half done, so what we're doing is just putting sauce on top so we can uh, continue on the baking just a little because you're going to need something left over and just spread it on top so it can start getting that glaze on it. And then we're going to put it back in the oven. I think it's got about much. Maybe about 20 more minutes, maybe 20 more minutes on it. 
and uh when you do this meatloaf make sure all right this is the finished results of our meatloaf it is a little what you call savory sweet now if you don't like it savory sweet you can take a little of the brown sugar out and maybe some ketchup but you know this is what makes it good <laughs> you don't take all that out but this is the end result of the meatloaf and it is fabulous look at that i hate to tell y'all that but it's a fabulous piece of meatloaf and it is delicious it is what you call mouth watering it's not what you call bland at all no indeed it is not bland <clears throat>